on the roads this morning. It does look like today is going to be a great day for some biking or jogging or really anything outdoors. Taft. Yeah, especially this morning, Libby, we're seeing temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Very pleasant out there right now, but we know those temperatures will warm quickly as we move on through the day. And for the next several afternoons, we're going to see warm temperatures. And that's also what we're talking about coming up on Friday. High school football, we're still going to see warm temperatures out there. Friday, as those games kick off around 730, we're going to see temperatures still around 90 degrees under mostly sunny skies, so warm and humid conditions Friday evening for those high school football games. Well, we're also dealing with a little bit of humidity out there this morning. We are seeing another sunny and warm afternoon on the way as we're going to see temperatures back in the low 90s, a couple degrees above average. The average high today is 90 degrees, so around 92, 93 in some spots for the afternoon. Also, the dry weather is going to continue not only today, but for the next four or five days. So if you have any Labor Day plans, maybe heading out to the lake, for the most part, you're going to be in pretty good shape, but I do have a chance, at least a slight chance, for some rain coming in on Labor Day itself. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. So far for the month, we haven't picked up any rainfall for the year. 41.55 inches of rain. The average through today is about 27 and 3 quarters of rain. So you notice we're still running about 13.8 inches above average in terms of our rainfall for the year. We're not tracking rain this morning here in the Tulsa area. All of eastern Oklahoma, quiet southeast Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas. No rain showing up. We don't expect any rainfall around for today with the mostly sunny skies. Downtown Cam, we're looking off to the south. You can see the city plex towers there in the distance and we're starting off with clear skies and 75 degrees. So it is a little warm here in the city. You move outside of the city and temperatures drop off into the upper 60s and lower 70s and we're seeing a light south wind right now at 8 miles per hour. We're at 69 currently in Sky Took, 70 degrees in Owasso, 71 in Catoosa, 70 in Broken Arrow. You notice Bixby at 71, 71 as well out in Sand Springs. Across the rest of central and eastern Oklahoma, generally in the 60s to lower 70s. We're at 67 in Bartlesville, 60 66 this morning over in Oklahoma City, 72 though in McAllister, and 64, one of the cooler readings we can find in Tahlequah. And across the country, the central and eastern U.S., it is warm this morning, 60s and 70s at 71 in Detroit, 73 in Chicago, about as warm in Philadelphia this morning as it is here in Tulsa, 74. The warmest of the weather as you'd expect Phoenix right now at 89 degrees. So mostly sunny skies on the way for today. We'll see a few of those cumulus clouds bubbling up like we saw yesterday afternoon, but we don't expect any rainfall here in eastern Oklahoma. As we move through the evening hours, any of those little cumulus clouds will fade away and we'll see mainly clear skies this evening and overnight tonight. And it looks like more sunshine on the way for your Thursday. Upper 80s to low 90s, the highs from areas around the Arkansas border back to the west. Some of the warmest temperatures out in central Oklahoma, 93 today in Pawnee. Upper 80s to low 90s around the Tulsa area, back to the west, 92 in Bristow, also in Okima. And southeast Oklahoma, lower 90s expected with south winds area wide at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Mostly sunny skies, warm temperatures for the next several days all the way through the weekend. I am adding slight chances for rain and storms on Labor Day on Monday. Slightly higher chance on Tuesday as a weak cold front moves into the area. They'll drop high temperatures back into the upper 80s Tuesday afternoon. Thank you, Tad.